This video is a musical love letter from a former contestant on The Voice to her husband, trapped by war in Ukraine. Somewhere Over the Rainbow um, is one of my favorite covers. And when I first met him, he asked me to send him some music of mine. And instead of sen sending him one of my originals, I sent him that. He really wanted something to like lay in bed with at night when he was on the ship to listen to. And I thought it was the perfect song to send him. Two years ago, singer Tara Lane married her Ukrainian boyfriend, Wi-Fi guy, Andre. Hey, I'm on the phone with you right now and I can't wait to see you. They've made many trips to visit his family in Ukraine, and they've always gone together. But this time, he went alone. Andre uh, was going over there to visit his mother for her birthday um, and to just visit family because he hadn't seen them in a while. Uh, I was busy planning our wedding celebration for the third time <laughs> um, in order to just get everything together. And we decided, and I was also working on my record. So we just decided that he go this time and later this year, I would go over with him to see everybody. So Andre went and Putin's army did what no one thought he would do. A lot of Ukrainians didn't believe that anything was really going to happen. They're really used to Russia puffing their chest and they just were in awe when it actually did happen. Ukraine declared martial law and men ages 18 to 60 were ordered to stay and fight the war. Suddenly, Tara felt the weight of invasion, the bombs, the threat to her husband. It was all very real. Um, when I found out, I actually didn't know till like a few hours later. I was in the studio and my phone was on airplane mode. And when I got back to my apartment in Hollywood, I put on my phone and everybody was asking, oh my gosh, are you okay? And my heart just immediately sunk. I, I just, I was like, wait, what, what just happened? Uh, he was in Kiev. He said that there were bombs going off and that he was settling his mother down because everybody was obviously in a panic. Uh, he couldn't find his brother because his brother was working. His nephew was there with him. So they were preparing different things to actually leave and head toward the border. Um, I was obviously in shock. I couldn't process anything in that moment. Though Andre is a legal permanent resident of the U.S., he is still a Ukrainian citizen. During a time of war, immigration services are closed and Andre can't get the paperwork he needs to get back to the U.S. I have been speaking to government officials, embassies, um, all the borders. Still thinking positively, she bought tickets to a Star Wars concert in L.A. Andre is a huge Star Wars fan and surely the universe will answer and Andre would come home. We did buy tickets to John Williams' um, 90th birthday celebration um, in September. I'm really, really excited about it because he is a huge Star Wars fan. I took him to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge uh, Disneyland last year for his, I think it's his 41st birthday and he was so excited. He was like a little kid. Um, so our plan, our goal is to get him back by then and to um, so he can enjoy it with us. Through it all, Tara, her family and friends are hopeful that Andre will return and that her song and prayers will make that happen. He keeps reassuring me every day that I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back, our life is going to be back to normal. At this point, I'm like, how are our lives ever gonna be normal? It hasn't been normal <laughs> thus far, um, but it's definitely been an adventure and I'm just looking forward to it. Hello, friends and family, everybody who knows me. Uh, first of all, thank you to everybody who reached out. <laughs> so scared. Hey, baby, love you and miss you. If happy little bluebirds fly.